Tell it it's still not working. Still not working. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Stoke Sports Complex. We apologise for the delay in the start of the commentary for today's game. Near almost at the end of the first quarter already, 2.16 to go. Kestrels lead by 4, 21 to 17. I'm Jerry Merrill. I'm glad to be joined today by Annie Scanlon. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi Annie. Um, so Annie's joined us today. She's gonna, we're going to have a little chat at half-time about the Basketball England All Girls Leadership Programme. That she's, uh, that she's very proud to be part of, um, as indeed is uh, the Cardiff Met Archers coach, uh, who's here today. Sarah Wagstaff. Sarah Wagstaff, and also one of the Cardiff players, AZ Smalley, also on the same programme, um, along with such illustrious players as Renee Bush, Joe Leadham Warner, and Hannah Shaw, all of course England, uh, Great Britain internationals. Uh, so to the game here, uh, inside the last two minutes, it's been end-to-end -end stuff, both teams executing patient offence. Kestrels, as I say, up by four. Kestrels needing to win today to secure fourth spot in the league, which would mean a home playoff place in the first round of the playoffs. Your thoughts so far, Annie? Uh, it's been, um, like you said, an end-to-end -end game. Uh, both offences trying to execute as well as they can using most of the shot clock. Um, Cardiff started out with a very young team. They started with most of their young players to give them a run and it was nice to see. Um, defensively, both teams are doing all right. They're trying to get the stops. Cardiff seems to be switching up on a lot of the screen play, which is leaving the bigs for Solon open to get those easy looks. Yeah, it's good to see so many young players on the court from both teams. You know, Izzy Bunyan, just 16. Maisie Harry, Ooh. just 17. Karis Roy, only 15 years old, all, all for Cardiff Archers. Yeah, they were, all, they were all juniors, very young juniors when I was there. It's nice to see them get some court time and see how their game has flourished. Um, uh, Izzy playing up in the WBBO as well. She's getting good court time there, so it's nice to see the youngsters. Nice, Ooh, that move. Was a nice move. Karis Roy. Getting the step inside, good footwork from the youngster. And Kestrel's fielding several players from the Itchin Academy. Anna Neverson on court at the moment. Kestrel's having started with Faye ending. Looks like Sarah's gonna come into the game as well, another, another Itchin Academy player. Yeah, Sarah joined, joining halfway through the season, coming over from Hungary, I understand. Yeah, she, um, she's a very fluent player to watch. She's got a good game understanding. Adi Ogun going to work outside on the drive, pull up. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh. That's a great pass. Let's go, Anna. Nice head Unlucky fake from there. Anna Neverson. Can't get the layup to drop. She'll put a bit of full court pressure on, along with Safi Jarju looking for the half court trap. Nice pass from Keris. Just looking for that inside player. Kante on the break, looking to push it for Kestrus. Finds Neverson on the wing. Princess. I'm sure that. 
shot clock, game clock running down. And that'll do it for the end of the that'll do it for the end of the first quarter. Tight game. 21 for the Kestrels, 20 to Cardiff Met Archers. Faye Endin leading all scorers with nine. Morris with five for the Archers. Kokowski, Meyer on four apiece and Izzy Bunyan on four for the Archers. Uh, Morris and Lepico, two fouls apiece, early doors for the Archers. Just the one foul against the Kestrels on Saku Jaju. What do you make of the first quarter then, Annie? Uh, I said think, this what, before. What do, you think, what do you think the coaches are saying? I know Sarah very well and she will be she'll be happy with this score. Uh, Cardiff are very much out for a win. They're hunting, they're hungry for a win. And to play a team against Solent who are strong, our Solent team are very strong. She'll be impressed with this score. She'll be telling them to keep going. Those inside looks that they keep getting are incredible. They've just got players coming through the paint all the time, getting those inside looks. But defensively, they just need to step it up that little bit more. Yeah, Cardiff currently sitting rock bottom of WNBL Division 1, but you wouldn't think so, having seen, no. having seen the way they play today. Um, and of course, you know, massive hole in the, in the scoring production, you know, having missed Amber Dean for the last three games yeah. uh, with a hamstring injury. She's here today cheering the team on, but uh, still unable to play. Amber's, Which is shame, so I was looking forward to what I was looking forward Amber's to Amber's a play. great player to watch. I remember when we played them last season in Div 2, she, she's a tough player to guard, but her, her basketball IQ is just incredible. Starting the second, we got two junior players in for Cardiff Met and two for Solon. It's good to see them getting that court time. So that missing the inside look there. Nice shot. Yeah, Anna Neverson yesterday putting up a good performance, earning Ooh. extra court time. Nice drive. Route one down the middle. No help defence from Kestrels at all on that one. CJ won't Denise be happy Molnar with that one. Able to get, no, <laughs> Denise, Denise and Molnar able to get straight to the hole. Nice backdoor cut from Neverson. Defence recovers. She'll drive to the nice, middle and Anna. gets the friendly roll. Yeah, Anna Neverson yesterday making three out of seven three-point shots. The two, the, the two younger players, her and Faye Indian, combining for 28 points in, in yesterday's defeat. So good to of see. Of Worcester Wolves. It was a big win for Kestrels yesterday. Needed to win both games this weekend. And then Nottingham Trent doing them a favour by, by losing their game yeah. as well. So effectively taking them out of the uh, running for a possible fourth place. Solent get this win. They get the home court advantage. So CJ will be wanting this win a lot. Sarah Tarr out on the wing. Jarju comes to the top of the key, ready for, Ooh, ready for the defense, pass. Great Bunyan. defense. Great, Great defense, defense from Bunyan. Her dad will be proud. I'm sure he'll be watching this. Erica Meyer checking back in for the Kestrels, along with Faye Emdeen. Coach Lee hoping for, a, hoping for an offensive push in the second quarter. Kante Emdeen on the curl cut. Misfire on the pass to Erica Meyer. Ball out of bounds. Met Archer's possession. Nice Good. pass. Oh, that was a great pass. Jackson and Kante managing to put the pressure on the shot. 
Ending goes baseline, kicks it to Kante, oh. he'll drive and kick it to Jackson. Foul called on the dribble. Foul called on Harry. Meyer spinning, blocked by Karis Roy. Great defence to stay with the American on that move. Another Exception alumni checking into the game for Met Archers. Seems to be a well-worn route from Southampton to Cardiff to go to university. <laughs> I mean... I'm probably biased, but <laughs> Cardiff Met's the place to go. I push these kids there. I, uh, yeah, especially for basketball, and if you want to do sport, Ooh. Cardiff Met is, well, I'm going to be biased towards it. Oh. Ball deflected out of bounds by Maya, away from Roy as she cut down the lane. Defensive Lock by Meyer. Good Meyer defensive yesterday, five, five blocks to go with her nine points and 11 rebounds. Yes. For ending, Ooh. plays through the bump, can't get it to drop. Yeah, Erica is, um, you don't want to shoot with Erica's long limbs. She's going to get a hand to it every time. Same with Karis. Karis is getting her hand to a few stuff. Oh, good rebound for your own shot. Score off her own shot takes Izzy Bunyan to six points for the game so far. Jackson too strong off the backboard, gets her own rebound. Neverson lift fake oh, finds pass. Jackson inside. It's going to be a three second violation. That was a great look inside from Anna. Do you know what? I think up until um, the last two weeks, I don't think I'd seen a single three second violation. No, I've, we've I've seen had three, three now. In the game. <laughs> Anna's really good at um, looking the floor. So in training, she, she looks with the bigs a lot. Her, her game vision is next level. Good rebound by Alicia Jackson. Kessels really should be taking advantage of having the two bigs in the game at this point, especially with the outside shooting threat of Endine and Neverson. And Kante can knock down the three as well. So yeah. here we go. Right on cue, no good. Oh. Cardiff have come out small as well. Good, they have a good no call from the referee. Maya nice slow to get up. Lovely catch and roll from Karis Roy. Ending too strong off the back iron. Jackson gets a hand to it, but only as far as a Met Archer player. Warren Green fakes baseline, kicks it out to Roy. Again, he's going to roll, oh. going to roll right-handed down the lane. I'm not sure about that call there. <laughs> that was a nice clean block yeah, from Meyer. my view. But... Erica Meyer moving her feet well there to stay in, posi stay in position. Umpire Malone seeing it differently. After all. Time out. They're, they're the guys CJ. in grey. <laughs> <laughs> time out calls. I can just Other imagine questions. the time out CJ's going to be giving. The, defensively, I think they're doing okay, but the amount of looks that Denise is getting coming down the middle is just. <laughs> yeah, and Kestrel, Kestrel's quite static. Offensively as well. Um, yeah. Notably, you know, once Kokowski had gone off court, um, that that motion seemed to seemed to slow down slightly. Um, Erica Myers doing a good job inside. Uh, She's doing an I, I excellent think, job. You know, Jackson needs to get more involved, but more importantly, they need to get they need to find them. You know, yeah. they need to be looking to get them posted up and getting the ball. Yeah. Especially, they should have taken advantage of that that last little bit where. Cardiff went out quite small, 
Um, and when you've got Erica and Erla both on the court, they're both very strong and dominant inside. They've got to be, they got to be getting those looks. Oh, I think we've got Sharfin coming into the game. Another itching, another itching player. Yeah, but perhaps this is the injection of, uh, of energy that, that CJ Lee will be looking for. Yeah. We were talking before the game, saying about early on in the season, before Faye Ending was starting, a number of times her and Charlotte Finn would check into the game, just completely change the dynamic of it oh, in, in favour of the Kestrels. Char's defensive energy is... She's not afraid to chase the ball, whether it's on the floor, in the air. She will hunt that ball and she just brings that, that energy to the floor. So this would have been an interesting matchup with uh, Lauren Green on for Cardiff, Charlotte Finn in for yeah. in for Kessels. Those two having known one another for many years. Well, that was a nice move. Yeah, that went to the left hand. Couldn't quite get it to drop. It's unlucky. Nice lead Good look pass. Look inside. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit chaotic Hit in the that open man. Here goes Denisa. Just offline. Andy looking to push it. Good look. Jackson oh, finds Meyer go. short off the bit tentative on the short range jumper. I'm not sure she was expecting that no, pass no. there, Jerry. I'm not. She didn't I, I, look very comfortable. I, I think Jackson's become more of a pass first, shoot second player than. She was always the shoot first, yeah. and now she's she's definitely. It's a definite confidence thing. Yeah. There goes Leicester. Shot clock ran them down there. That was good defensive pressure from Kestrels. Yeah, Archer's recovering well on D. Double teaming Kante on the drive. Meyer finding the open player. Kestrels still struggling to get the shot up. Shot clock running down, four seconds to go. Kante pulls up, back iron. Again, there was two great plays of really good defensive pressure running that shot clock down. Cardiff are definitely hungry for this. Nice drive by Lauren Green. Good hands from Izzy Bunyan. Well, we, go, we go back about a couple of two and a half minutes since Kestrels have scored. There you go, that's the energy that Shah brings on defence. She's not scared to nice get her body. Pass. Yes, Charlotte. Nice Finn. catch and score. The two itching, the two itching Academy players combining. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. Sarah's clearly not happy with what just happened. We might have missed that, Jerry. Whatever just happened. Yeah, not quite sure. Lauren Green off the court. Ooh. Lester open in the corner. Drains the three-point shot. Ellie Lester's three-point shooting is. I played with her at uni, and if you wanted a shot to be made from the three, you gave it to Ellie Lester. Archer's into a three-point lead. Just over two and a half to go in the second. Kokowski, nice swinging the ball. Finn Ooh. puts up the, the shot. He's short. And it'll go out of bounds for Archer's possession. Archers are good at moving the ball across the floor, getting the Solent defence to move. Leicester was open in the corner again then. 
Molnar pulls up Bunyan, thinks about the three, gets Kante off her feet, draws the foul. <laughs> Ellie makes the second three, but despite, that one didn't count. I was go just going to say, despite <laughs> the foul, it's a lovely pass from Bunyan to find Leicester in the corner, opting for a bit of shooting practice. <laughs> As if she needs it, by the looks of it. <laughs> Archers again moving the ball around, yeah. looking for that inside look. Yeah, not, not a good pass no. from the Pico. Allowing Endine yeah. to Euro Ooh. step to the left hand is no good. Number of times I've seen Kestrin, number of times I've seen Kestrin struggle to convert layups. Um, in this, in this sort of period of the game. Molnar long. A little bit too much on, on that one. Point shot. Oh. Ellie Lester and Izzy Bunyan scrambling for the ball, unlucky with the possession arrow pointing in favor of Kestrels. Princess Adiogan checking in for Sylvia Kante. Adi Ogan bringing much needed, more, well, more, more experience to the Kestrels this season coming from Essex Rebels, WBBL side. Yeah, she, um, she's been a great addition to this, this team. She just brings Yeah, more. As, she, as she settled in, she's definitely contributing more and more. In yesterday's game, she had 11 points on the back of 60%. Field goal shooting, eight rebounds, five assists and a steal. So that's a pretty decent contribution that's across the board. That's a great con contribution, definitely. The Pico has... heads to the bench for the Archers. Oh. Really got to finish those shots. Coach Lee looking to full court press now. Yeah. Trying to put that pressure on Cardiff, see if yeah, it'll a little break bit of a little bit of a zone press. With how Cardiff have been moving the ball, I think they're quite comfortable. Just, quite comfortable today. Just getting the ball over the half court inside the eight seconds. Ellie yeah. Lester firing it up. Another three-pointer, back-to-back threes for her. She's made the last two buckets for the Archers. Third Archers now with a six-point lead. 33 to 27. She is a threat. You cannot leave Ellie Lester open when she's made that first three. Defensively, she's just done some excellent play there too. Ooh. Foul called inside. 4.3 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Called on Beth Jones. She's a, she's a feisty Welsh girl with Beth Jones. <laughs> I used to live with her. But you, you, don't, you don't want to be tussling inside a key with Beth Jones. <laughs> Molnar almost with the steal. Jackson ending go, wide Dave. open. Knock that down. Ooh. Can't get it to go. Andrea had a great hold inside there for the rebound. <gasps> Got away with a little bit of a travel there. And Scharf in, pushing it for the Kestrels. Finds Adi Ogan. Oh, Faye was not, not ready for with that. The play. She was not looking at that. And timeout coming for Cardiff Met Archers. They lead by six. 25.8 seconds remaining in this second quarter. Archers on three team fouls, Kestrels on two. Scoring effort balanced across both teams, you have to say. Yeah. Ending still leads all scorers with that quick nine points that she got early doors. Hasn't added to that total for the whole of this quarter. Bunyan. And Leicester, and Leicester on the back of two three pointers with six points. Bunyan in that roll on her right hand, rolling down the lane, taking it to the layup. Uh, got away with it the first couple of times. Kessler's waking up to that, and Erica Meyer playing some decent defense on her when she gets the chance to put the ball on the floor. I know Sarah will be happy with uh, be happy with this score at the minute.
bit interesting with um, Kestrels, with the experienced bigs of uh, Jackson, Meyer, Kokowski uh, being dominated on the boards by Molnar and Roy, who both have six boards apiece wow. for the archers. Alicia Jackson, the leading rebounder, with five for the Kestrels. And it's funny when you look at um, looking at some stats and stuff and doing some preparation for this game. Archers scoring 32.4 um, points a game in the paint out of their 57.5 a game average. Yeah, they, so, like, you know, they like to look inside. Yeah, they're strong and they're, they're, they're young, you know, they're, they're all really long, you know, long arms, they've got good reach. Yeah. Addy Ogan, shot clock running down. Endine's going to have to launch it. Oh. It's short off the bottom of the ring. So Archers have got to be happy with that. Oh, they'll um, be. That first half. They will be. Sarah will be really impressed with the defensive effort and the, um, the attention to detail when they're on offense, looking inside and they're getting the good looks. Absolutely. So... That'll, that does it for the uh, first half of play here at the SSC. Kestrel's down by six, 27 to 33. Met Archers totally not looking like a bottom of the table team, um, really putting together a good performance so far today. Um, I was saying earlier that we're fortunate to have Annie Scanlon here with us, with us today. With, with, with us today, and, I wasn't um, expecting that. Sorry. With us, with us today, and so, so Annie, you know, you're part of this Basketball England hashtag All Girls uh, yeah. leadership program and things things like that. Um, you know, it's a fascinating project. You know, taking these aspire, inspiring, aspiring coaches and, and people. You know, you've got some GB internationals on the course, and you've got up and coming coaches as well. Was it something you had to apply for, or were you invited? Or yeah, so over the first lockdown. Um, uh, Vicky Milner put my name down to do some work with um, some coaches from around the country and one of them sent me a link to an application for this female leadership and performance program and I was in two minds about applying for it um, but then def like applied for it, had to send a video off of why I wanted to be on the course and what I wanted to do for female basketball um, and got accepted onto the course and when we got the email about being accepted, I was looking at the list of names like, <laughs> I'm a little bit starstruck because there's some big, big names on that yeah. list. Joey being one of them and Hannah and Renee, all incredible players and being able to work alongside them and with them on a project is... Must be fantastic to get... It's amazing. To all of that experience and yeah. knowledge. And, and, I, and I guess, you know, I, you know, I guess they're as passionate about it as, as you are, probably. They're, they're, as, they're as probably as excited despite all of their yeah. you know, international experience and, and stuff like that. So, so how has it supported you so far? Then? It started in November last year, I think, didn't it? Yeah, so we started back in November. We were supposed to have, well, we have six workshops that we take part in. Um, and every month we have an evening catch-up call with all of us and Jenny, who is the lead of it, and Brian as well, who also leads up on it. Um, just to check in and see how we're all doing. And then the workshops, again, we work with some phenomenal names on the workshop. We had um, a WNBA coach on there. Wow. And it was, I was a bit starstruck again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then these workshops were supposed to be face-to-face, -face, but obviously because of COVID, they've all been virtual. Um, which teams hasn't, or Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> it's not been ideal, but it's still like tapping into all the knowledge that we're getting is incredible. And fingers crossed, the last official workshop is going to be face to face. So the whole group will be together, minus Joey, who is in the States, but yeah. it'll be amazing. It, it's funny because I, I, I work in sort of training and development and stuff myself. So I know exactly what you mean about <laughs> workshops over Zoom and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, face to face can't come soon enough. Literally. So, so what? How? How? You know, what sort of tools and things has it given you? How has it actually helped you in a practical sense with your coaching? And have have you seen a big impact on on your coaching and your ability to inspire other coaches around you? Yeah. So um, we've looked at three different um, aspects of our coaching. So we've looked at ourselves as a coach. We've looked at the environment that we coach in, and we've also looked at the people we coach. Um, so for me. 
I'm not a very reflective person. I don't, I struggle when it comes to um, talking about myself. Um, You're doing well so far. So. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I've got better. The programme has actually Didn't helped help me. So every month we have to do a reflection and they like it to be a video or a voice note reflection and you have to talk about what you've done in that month and the first one was completely out of my comfort zone but now I'm much more comfortable and it's made me think about I coach under 14 so my environment is very different to some of their environments um, but actually about how you f create the best environment for the people that are in front of you at that time which we are now finally getting to put into practice now yeah. that the juniors are back. So it's really nice to try out some of these tools in sessions. Yeah, oh, good, good. Um, thank you. And if anyone wants to find out more, then there is an excellent <laughs> video of, um, of, of Annie uh, talking about the leadership programme available on the Basketball England website, along with uh, AZ Smalley, who's here playing for Cardiff Met Archers today, has done a similar thing. So I'd encourage you you know, to check it out. Um, if, you're, if you're into your coaching, you want to get involved in coaching, check it out, find out what, what it's all about, what's going on in the coaching world, and um, yeah, be ready to be inspired. So don't go away, because we've got a couple of video clips coming up for you now. First of all, a short clip of Team Turn Kestrel's American centre, Erica Meyer, in action. And then we're gonna follow that up with, with a video showcasing uh, the men's team here at Team Turn Kestrel's and their current MVP Ian Smith. We'll, we'll be back with you shortly. Enjoy. Well done. Oh, All right. Interesting. I think she's got an elbow in the face from what she's from, from what she's saying there. But she certainly looked very she certainly looked very red when she um... Yeah, she did. Um, Lauren's Lauren's quite tough as well, so Oh, oh god, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be awful, actually. <laughs> I show she's mellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is new from CJ as well. I'm not taking them up into the thing and keeping them up there for 15 minutes. Who's that? Oh, this <laughs> is your favourite. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what's, what's that on? Is that the text? What, yeah, it's just the text. Vicky. Oh,
Hey, welcome all. Chris Hughes from here. I'm joined with the man of the match, Ian Smith. Welcome Ian, how are you? What's up, man? What's all set? Absolutely, yes. They, they obviously kicked our butts last game. Um, so we came out with a different mindset, different approach this time completely. Um, we're not on our heels at all, really, so we just came out swinging. It was aggressive the whole time. Yeah, massive. I saw it like 44-11 at one point. What are some of the key things you guys talked about about doing differently but really worked today? Yeah, locking in on key personnel, not letting them get as easy shots, making them uncomfortable the whole game. Yeah. The ball pressure and rebounding. They still kicked our butts on the boards, I think, but it's still yeah. a monster. They play hard, but... Uh, rebound it and then just our intensity for 40 minutes. Definitely. You're three rebounds shy of a triple double, but it was a really great performance. What are some of the performers that really impressed you for today? From the squad? From the squad, yeah, yeah. Just, just stick togetherness. We just stick the stuff together. We got Definitely. guys hurt, we got guys out, but uh, it's the next man up in town. So all of us coming with the right mindset is what impressed me the most and what I'm most proud of. Patience, the far dish sailing, three more games to go. Good luck best season, mate. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Okay. This is why we elite. Yeah, this is this why track. we elite. This guy right track, here. Scream fast. Oh, sh Good scream, fast. Oh, sh a cold and wet. Southampton and to the Solent Sports Complex at the Solent University campus in, in the centre of town where Team Solent Kestrels are hosting Cardiff Met Archers in a WNBL Division 1 matchup between, well, Kestrels looking to secure fourth place and Met Archers currently rooted at the bottom of the table but you wouldn't actually think that from this game so far Kestrel's trailing by six they have 27 Met Archers have 33 uh, as, as we were saying earlier and I hope that you listened to our to my conversation with Annie Scanlon at half time um, prior to that we were, we were just saying you know it, it's a really close fought game 
Annie, what's your take out of this? What, what is Sarah Wagstaff saying to archers now as they go after this win? So the third quarter is, uh, is always one where you either come out hard or you, you come out and you're like, well, we're up, so they come out flat. But she will want them to come out with the same energy that they just left on the floor at the end of that second quarter. She, she's hungry for this win. The girls are hungry for this win. If they come out with that energy, I, I think they're in for a good chance of securing it. And I think the same can be said for Kestrels. I think they need to come out with, <coughs> with a higher energy yeah. style of play, get the ball moving, finding, getting, getting, their, getting their bigs to convert offensively. They're doing a good job defensively. But defensively, get, but, they are. But get them to convert offensively. Get Fay ending to knock down some shots. Yeah. Uh, get Anna Neverson, who's on the bench at the moment, see if they can get her some open looks. Interestingly, Kirkowski, who's captain today in the absence of Chrissy Carpover, who's out with suspected concussion, um, is starting the second half on the bench. It's De Stefano. Uh, Kante to Maya down low, back to Kante, open for the three, she puts it up, nice. and the first shot of the half is good for the Kessels. That That's halves the... that lead back to a three-point game Ooh. now. As archers cough it up, early doors. That's the start that CJ will have wanted. Three-point shot knocked down and then forced a turnover. He'll have wanted that start. Double screen down low for De Stefano. Can't get the ball to her. Jackson on the high post. They open. Endine on the drive, kicks Good it to Kante. Can't get the two to drop. Endine gets the rebound. Kante thinks about having another go. Endine will put up the three. It's way short from Faye Endine. Harry pushing it down the floor for Archers. Good pressure from Endine, almost forcing Morris out of bounds. Ball deflected by a Kessler's player. Archers retain possession, 11 seconds on the shot clock. Oh. I'll tell you what. That is not that the is, class that you that want. That is a but... tough shot. When you've got to pick the ball up from your bootlaces, yeah. get it up and somebody's running at you with the hand up, that is a tough shot. For a 16 year old to do that as well. Abs yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, calmness beyond her years. Jackson still not looking to pose a threat going to the basket. Shot clock running down for Kestrels. Needs to put it up. Shot going to run out. Poor awareness there from the Kestrels of the game situation. That was good defensive pressure there from Cardiff. Absolutely. That little zone press from Kessels again. Going to look to trap it. Bunyan pushing it ahead oh, to Harry. Amazing. She's going to go strong to the basket. Can't get it to go. Erica Meyer clears it up. That was an open lane there all the way to the basket though. Defensively, Kessels need to see that. There's a couple times in the first quarter that that happened. And I, think, and I think that's the difference, you know, there's no open lane for Kessels offensively, you know, there's no easy baskets. Um, Archers are getting some decent open looks. Just, just need to convert them all now. Harry short on the pull-up too. Looking to the referee for a bailout on that one. Nothing coming. I think Cardiff were looking for the foul there, but... Dell put them, put them right, saying that Faye's arms were straight up. She wasn't leaning forward. Good steal. Ooh. Nice move from Richards initially. And Jackson playing with a defensive board. Kestrel's really working the outside of the paint. It would be good to see it get inside the paint a little bit more. 
But, oh, nice steal from Kiara. Oh, that was unfortunate. Good hustle from De Stefano. Chasing after the loose ball, can't quite keep her feet and keep it in bounds. It's going to be Archer's ball. Harry checks out for the Art Harry and Roy checking out for Archer's Molnar. And Jones back into the game. Both very That's experienced half players. Half-court pressure there, not getting the trap. Molnar's going to put up the three. Nothing but nylon on that one for Denise Molnar. Six-point lead again for the Archers. Kessler's unable to make inroads. Pull up from Kante is no good. Great box out from Bunyan on Meyer. Excellent box out. Keep her off the boards. Oh. Nice pass. Nowhere for Morris to go in the land of the trees in the middle there. Gets it back on the perimeter. Three-point shot is way Ooh. long. Great that was nice work. from Richards. Archer's getting third, fourth shot attempts here. You know, Ketcher is just not able to, to clear it up. Great hustle from Archer's. Fake shots on the way. Nice basket again. Izzy Bunyan, she moves to double figures. She looks so Archer, comfortable Archer's out there. Archer's into an eight-point game. Eight, eight-point lead. Couple changes coming away, both teams. Azeb checking back in the game. Karis is back in. Triple change for the Kestrels. Eddie Ogan, Kokowski and Neverson coming back into the game. Ending Jackson and Stefano heading to the bench. There we go. Nice pick and roll. And foul called on Bunyan, just overbalancing as Meyer drove baseline. It's a shame she committed a foul. She didn't actually have anywhere to go. To, to actually come back, she'd had to... It had been a pretty spectacular move to come back under the basket to, to get a shot off for that. And coach CJ Lee wants to talk it over. I'm not surprised. No, nope, can't Five, say I'm surprised. 5.40 to go. In the second half, sorry, in the third quarter. Izzy Bunyan leading all scorers with 10. Faye Endin has nine. Erica Meyer has six. Ellie Lester has six. And Denisa Molnar has five. Denisa Molnar also leading the rebounders with seven rebounds along with Alicia Jackson. Bunyan and Karis Roy have six apiece. And Faye Endin uh, has five boards. For the Kestrels. Oh, oh inbounds pass tipped by Izzy Bunyan. Cardiff have got a lot of players Bunyan that have very long drive. limbs. Finds Jones, long two is good. Well, I know there's still a lot of basketball to be played, but I'm kind of getting a feeling that 10 points up, they're really feeling like a long way back for the Kessels. Yeah, they really need to look at their inside, shoot in more. Shot clock running down again, Addy Ogan loses the handle. Good defence from Cardiff. Yeah, good defence. Um, Kestrel's passing up open looks to try and push the ball inside. I know you live and die by the three, but they need to get something going here. 
That was a tough one, only 0.1 second on the yeah, clock. Yeah, yeah, I guess. That was a um, catch and shoot, and yeah. the shot wasn't there. Possession hadn't actually changed hands, had it had just been deflected yeah, out of bounds. Yeah, that was a difficult one. Patient, confident, mature play from the, from, from the young Archer squad there against the pressure. Bunyan's going to roll down that lane right-handed again, finds Jones spotting up for a three. No good. Ali Oden grabs the boards and pushes it to Kante. Meyer going down to the low block and knocked away by Roy again into the hands of an Archer's player. Nice give and go from Archer's really slick passing. So good at moving the ball around the three point line. Shot clock running down now for Archer's. Ball in oh. the hand of Bunyan. Tough shot. Difficult. Probably not the shot they wanted and just saying, sorry coach. Here we go, Anna. Neverson spotting up for three is no good. Just haven't had a chance to get into any kind of rhythm from outside. Lovely pass no. from Molnar. Defence has just been all over them from the outside, so it's difficult Karis to... Roy going to the left Ooh. hand is fouled. Great move from Karis Roy inside. Karis Roy, hard to believe, he's just 15 years old. 15 and fantastic, dominating fantastic a women's play. game. Yeah, awesome. Can't get either of the free throws to drop. Perhaps that's the opportunity that Kessels need to get something running. Neverson working on the perimeter. She was trying to look inside then. Addy oh, Ogan nice goes move. to work short. Seems to be the story of Kessels' offense. Great pass. What a look, what a pass. Oh, oh. Jackson getting, oh. Jackson getting the ball. <laughs> to the face there. the face accidentally. That was a great heard, pass again. Heard that one up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Foul called before the ball was inbounded. Foul called on Andrew Kukowski. That'll be her first. Oh, good rebound by Maisie. Good defensive pressure again by Cardiff, shot running that shot again. clock down. Jackson's going to have to put it up way off again. Good defence there. Nice move again, Denise Molnar with her experience. Kestrel shooting, I beg your pardon, not Molnar, Harry. Nice move to the basket. Kukowski weaving her way around, she can't get it to drop. Kestrel's shooting just 20% from the field. So I beg your pardon, 30% from the field. Oh, nice pass. Oh, I, well, oh. I was about to say she's pivoted the wrong way, but what a oh. move, great awareness. Archer's 14 points in the lead now, and Kessel seemingly with no answer. Shot clock running down again. Reluctance to put the shot up, forces it up. Smalley comes away with the defensive boards. Molnar turns the corner, gets it up off the backboard, won't go. And Kukowski clears the rebound. Kante. Recognising the urgency, looks to push. Neverson. Maddie Ogan, minute and a half remaining in the third. 
I think Kestrels have scored five points this shot quarter. Clock, uh, shot clock again. Going to have to get it up. Kanche with the three, way off. Good rebound. And oh. that'll be a shot clock violation with Didn't 18 to go. Substitutions for Archers, Leicester and Richards back into the game for them. Assistant coach Dono trying to get his team to play with some energy. Straight to Richards, posting up in the middle of the key against the smaller Kokoski. She can't get it to go. Kokoski, pretty move. move. Taking good it move. right, getting up with the left hand to get to drop it in. Nice move from Andrea Kokoski. Richards posting up in posting Kokoski up with some aggression. Oh, nice step through. Ooh. Again, nice move at the other end. These two going at one another at both ends of the floor. Really good to see. That's what Kestrels need. They need to get the ball inside and let Andrea do her thing. When she's going to the hoop, she's strong. We need a couple more of those looks. Oh. Katie Richards gets the second to drop into the last minute of the third quarter. And there's going to be a, no, there's going to be a discussion here. I'm going to argue Del that call. <laughs> umpire Perkins overruling umpire Malone. Good to see the referee with a better look actually taking control. I do think there was a little bit of contact in there. Yeah, I think absolutely. Anna is absolutely yep. fair to be upset with that, that there was no call. Yeah, at least they got the possession back. Yeah. Got two one. rights don't make it. Two wrongs don't make a right. I was going to no. say two, two rights don't oh, make nice. a wrong. What's that about? There we go. Kokoski getting the ball inside, and showing her confidence and going up strong with the ball. Something that we haven't seen from Jackson and Meyer. They've played oh, good. Cool. They've played good defense on Meyer when she's been in the game. Oh, they have. They've scouted well. I wonder if we're going to use this shot clock as much as they can. Slight differential, about a two and a half second differential yeah. between the shot clock and the game clock. So Ooh. Kestrels will get it back as Katie Richards throws it up. That will be a shot clock violation. Ooh, second I was a second out. There's a second and a half, second and a half remaining on the game clock. This uh, is going to have to be I'm, another catch and I'd, shoot I'd scenario. I'd be expecting to see some leadership here. Nothing coming. Oh, that was the right idea. I saw the idea that they had, just unfortunate. Oh, a quick one and a half seconds. That was a very quick one and a half seconds. <laughs> so that's the end of the third quarter here at the SSC. I'm just drawing breath. Cardiff, Cardiff, Met, Ar <laughs> yeah, Cardiff Met Archers 47, Team Sterling Kestrels 35. It's been a thrilling performance from the Archers in all aspects of the game have yeah. definitely outplayed the Kestrels on their home court. They've been more intense, they play with more energy. Um, you could say that um, the, the game, you know, Kestrels obviously travelled yesterday, played Worcester Wolves yeah. away, would have been a tough game. Yeah. Uh, up, but there again, you know, Archers have had to travel all the way from Cardiff this morning. <laughs> That's um, not a fun travel, it, I'll tell not, you no, that, that M, one now. That, 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 that M4 not... goes on forever, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, it feels like it's never ending. <laughs> Yeah, that, I think they both had. They both played yesterday as well. Yeah. I think um, you can tell some uh, more tired. I think Cardiff have the advantage where they have quite a big bench. 
and some of their players aren't even here today. Sarah does a real good job at rotating, um, but they just keep finding the gaps in the defense. They're slipping through. They get into the basket. Yeah, playing heads up. They're getting the long full. They're getting people out on the break. And as soon as shot goes up, people are clearing out, getting out on their break. Heads up, and they're able to find those people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they're able to get ahead, and they're getting good looks. Yeah. So Kestrel's needing to win this one to secure home, to be sure of getting home court advantage in the first round of the playoffs. Be interesting to see what they can do. Can they come back? 12 points isn't a lot in a game of basketball with 10 minutes to play. It's but definitely it, doable. But just the way it is doable, but just the, the way the game's been, the pattern the game's taken, you don't get the feeling that it's going to be possible. It's doable, but is it possible? I think if they come out wanting it, it's, it's definitely possible. I've seen them come back from uh, a bigger score difference. I mean, nobody's in foul trouble, so, you know. No. Kessler's only committed six fouls all game. Um, you know, but that isn't, you know, that isn't the time to foul someone. You know, yeah. I know she didn't make the shot, I know she didn't make the shot, but it's just going to go to the line to shoot two, but if you get, you know... Can we get? Can they get to the bonus situation and play that game? Mm. I've been really impressed with Izzy Bunyan today. I think she's been outstanding. Watching her grow as a player from when she was competing at under 12s <laughs> um, back at Cardiff Met for Pontypridd, she just she has come on leaps and bounds as a player. Her dad also being a player helps and a coach. Yeah, seven rebounds, two steals to go with her 12 points. That's an unsportsmanlike foul. Ooh. Unsportsmanlike foul called on, Richards, on Katie Richards. Her and Andrea Kukowski continuing to go at it inside. <laughs> Don't normally see unsportsman likes in the women's game. It just goes to show, you know, how much this game means to yeah. means to both teams. You know, Archer's determined to prove that they're a better outfit than the bottom of the table position would say. And of course, clearly missing a massive presence of Amber Dean yeah. for the last three or four games. The last, well, the last. I think this is the third week she was saying that she's been out with the injury and um, you know, clearly she's not going to be available for their two games next weekend when they play Thames Valley away and at home in some bizarre oh, quirk of fiction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, against the same team. <laughs> yeah. That'll be a difficult one. Especially if the result doesn't go the right way on the Saturday. It'll be interesting to see how they... Jones going strong. Big pardon. The Pico going strong down the lane. Drawing the foul on Kukowski. She just got third in the second half. Bunyan setting oh, the screen move. on Kukowski. And the Pico getting free. Nice screen, Izzy Bunyan. Well worked out of bounds move from the Archers. As coach CJ Lee looks to bring Erica Meyer back into the game. Not quite sure how Sylvia kept that oh, in the court well. then, nice but that was Jackson. excellent. Excellent awareness from Kante to find Jackson inside. Shot's too strong, she can't get it to drop. Jackson yet to score in the game. Oh, nice oh, from nice Maisie. Play. Harry can't get the jump shot to drop at the end of that. You wonder the Pico had a better open look inside the key. Good defense again from guarding the inside players. They're making it really difficult for Solon to get the ball yeah, in. Jackson just not looking to get to the basket at all. And good hustle. Great hustle. Oh. Sylvia Kante landing on getting a I think, is that Harry on the floor? No, that is Denisa on the floor. Denisa Molnar getting a knee 
in the back as both of them went tumbling. Dale just taking charge there. Referee's timeout for the injured players. Izzy Bunyan looking at a double double with 12 points, eight rebounds, one assist, two steals. I've been really impressed with the juniors. The juniors playing at Cardiff Met. Shows they're not afraid to get involved. Like that. How many times is that going on? <laughs> they that are, is loud. That they're buzzer, so isn't it? loud in here. <laughs> when you haven't been used to it for a year as well. Even when this place is <laughs> even when this place is full, it's still yeah, loud. It's still just as loud. <laughs> nice to see Faye checking back into the game and Erica. Hopefully we can. Yeah, Faye and Dean as well. Utilize them a bit more. Oh, good oh, defense. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, that's going to be a foul on, on Maya. Yeah, fortune. All the luck going with with the archers. I guess you kind of you, you know you make your own luck, don't you? It's, uh, yeah. You know, all the calls going their way at the moment. Uh, all the loose balls dropping their way. They thoroughly deserved it. 100%. I'm not sure if I agree on that call though. But no. again, we're from up here. Can't see it from down there. They might. They might have seen something a little yeah. bit different. I was saying uh, on commentary with Mark Jackson yesterday at the men's game, we, we were talking about refereeing and things, and he was saying, you know, it's something he'd never ever want to do. And I was saying we used to, back in the day, well, not even back in the day, back in the couple of eons ago when I was playing local <laughs> league, you, know, you you had to go and referee. Each team got nominated to referee games, oh, okay. so I had to go and I had to go and do it at some point. But I would never ever look to get qualified. No, I can't say too, it's something too, that I would do. <laughs> too many players around like me. <laughs> Ending with a oh, way to get our own rebound. Way to rebound. get our own rebound. The foul. Cardiff utilising that shot clock again, putting that defensive pressure in. Morris with her third foul. The Pico, the only other person on the Archers team with three fouls. Kante with a quick shot, can't get it to go. Low scoring game. Uh, Kessel Good pressure only, from Faye. That was great pressure from Kessel, Faye. Kessel's only with 37 points on the board in the game. Ending, showing a bit of what's needed at this stage if Kessels are going to get back into it. Neverson flagging the out of bounds ball. Ending there we comes go. up with the steal. Oh, good way for Erica to get Still down there get and the, follow. Still can't get the layup to go. Ending, good back door from Anna there. Ending nice, the great Erica. rebound from Maya. The foul's going to be called. Ending leads the team on steals with 2.9 a game. Interesting substitution from Coach Lee taking Anna Neverson off, replacing her with Sarah Tarr. I have to say, I haven't seen much of Sarah Tarr she picked up, this um, season. She was injured. She picked quite up an she got injury. Her I think it was the second game she played, maybe. She picked up a, quite a bad in, ankle injury. <laughs> right, timeout called after that free throw by Cardiff Archers. They continue to dominate this game. 15 point lead, seven minutes to go. So what's happening with, with your Juniors this year, then Annie, are they going to get the chance? To, are they going to get the chance to play any competitive basketball, um, or is it just uh, is it just training at the moment? At the minute, it's just training. Uh, I think Master England have said no fixtures, um, definitely until June. 
Um, but we are looking to set up some like tournament days. Um, me and Keely are utilising the programme and getting some teams in chess. Um, <laughs> That'd be good, yeah. yeah. There's a tournament play going between the, the te- was it 10 of you on the programme? 12 of 12 us. 12 of you on the programme, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're trying to get them trying to get them some fixtures. And it's great to see that EABL and WABL oh, have got yeah. a tournament up and running. That would be good to see. That would be great to see. I mean, I'll be working on the Wednesday afternoons, but... My year sevens are going to learn a lot about basketball. We might be watching some games. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. And, and, you know, just so privileged to be here and to have done the commentary for Kestrel's men and women's games here at the SSC this year to be able to watch live basketball. Um, yeah, tremendously lucky. And I'm also glad that we've been able to stream these games to everybody at home so they can still get a fix. I think it's um, helped. Um, Three second violation on called on Alicia Jackson. I think streaming all these games has helped build basketball in this country, most definitely. Ooh, That's ooh. A, that'll be a backcourt violation. No, it's great as well. You know, it's been some really good. You know, watching a lot of the WBBL stuff and the, and, and sort of the men's NBL coming out of. Leicester and Loughborough and things, you know, Liam Jefferson doing the commentary, you know, Loughborough Riders assistant coach, Christina Gaskin getting involved in the commentary. Yeah. It's great getting all these players and ex-players in, involved in it, and they're, you know, and they're keen to be involved as well. It can only be good for the game. Oh. Jackson still can't go, open go her up. account, looks to hand it off to Maya. Nice shot from Maisie there, nice shot. Harry with the, is that the dagger three? She got the three. Six minutes to go, 18 point lead. Ending still looking to work it inside when, she, when they're already giving her the open shot, swings at the canto. Tar puts up the three, no good. good Maya chase from chases America. it down, great hustle. They finding those little gaps, she's really good at that. Yeah, Endine's gone down, looks like it's her ankle. She's good, she's good, she's up, she's getting up. She's yeah, looking for those gaps all this, the time. In the... At, at this point in the game, Kestrels with their two best three point shooters sat on the bench in Princess Eddie Ogan and Anna Neverson. You would think the coach would have them both in the game at the moment. Yeah, well, I would agree on that one. You want, you're down 18. The game's not over, it's not finished. It's definitely doable to come back from. But you need your shooters on the floor. You need, you need your shooters. It's a shame that obviously Chrissy can't play today because she would have helped in the shooting outside. Nice there we go. Move from Erica Meyer. Kestrel's needing a stop now. Sarah Tarr, will they trap at the half court? You would think so. They get the ball over. Great Good hustle, Erica, Erica Meyer. Oh, wow, and it's wow. going to be sideline ball. It's going to go to the Archers. Good hustle between Meyer and Karis Roy. Meyer, the 24-year-old. American centre against the 15-year-old Karis Roy, <laughs> but you would never know. Oh, oh, that was an interesting call. Oh, interesting that one. Looked like the the ball was stripped clean from Izzy's hand, but referee not not seeing that. Bunyan makes no mistake with the first. Just about halfway through the final quarter. Here at SSC, she nails the second. Oh! And they come up with a steal. Morris converting the steal. There you go, she's open. 
There we go. Nice move from Maya. Ending finding her with the pass. And Ending coming up with the great steal. steal. See if they can get it inside to Erica again. She's doing a great oh. job at sealing. Kante wide of the mark with the pass, which is a shame because Maya again was open in, in the lane. Good press break. Roy coming back to the middle to get the pass. Good shot. A short. Roy's. Uh, Bunyan was blocked underneath the basket. She tried to go up for the reverse off the offensive rebound. Part of just applying that full court pressure as well. Yeah, smart move. They may be in the lead, but they can't afford to sit back. Go on, Faye. Ending losing the handle. We had another Kestrel's turnover. Great pressure. Nineteen turnovers for the Kestrels so far in this game. Oh, nice hands steal from by Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, no urgency to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to take the ball to the rack and score, and then and Maya has got some urgency, but makes the move without before she's gathered the ball. And there'll be a timeout, I'm assuming. CJ from, that timeout. From Kestrels. <laughs> they trail by 17, 332 remaining. Again, I'm not saying it's done. They, they can definitely come back from this. They've come back from worse. But they just got to want to. They need, that, they need that defensive energy. They need to get after all the loose balls. And they need to be utilising Erica in the paint. Completely agree. Erica in the paint. Anna Neverson's got to be given some space and some licence to put up the three ball. Yeah. Just doesn't seem to have been an awful lot of consistency in the game plan from the Kestrels today. Um, apart from let's just bang it, try and get it inside to Meyer. Um, and Kirkowski's done a great job when she's been on the floor. Um, she's currently on the bench with three fouls, three and a half minutes to go. I think I'd probably want her in the game. I'd be getting her back in the game. Her, when she seals inside, if you had both her and Erica sealing yeah. inside. So here we go. So Sharfin can bring some energy and can put up a three-point shooter. She isn't as good a three-point shooter as Anna Neverson, who is sat on the bench. No. She'll bring that defensive energy though, and that's what that's what CJ needs right Addie now. Addie Ogan needs... is still sat on the bench. I'm not sure if she's injured. No, I'm not sure. Another timeout? And there's out? another timeout called by Coach Lee. Well, clearly, they Lee. either haven't executed what he wanted them to execute, but it seems strange. I mean, he's just, he now has used all of his timeouts. Yep. So, let's... Um, it's the last roll of the dice from Coach Lee. Did you watch any of the men's basketball yesterday, Annie? Um, I will be honest, I did not watch the men's oh, game no, yesterday. <laughs> no. oh. I may have been <laughs> sipping on some cocktails <laughs> whilst it was on, but we were watching the live stats. Um, I had the uh, next best thing watching uh, Thames Valley and Worthing. Myself and Mark Jackson yesterday saying we fancied Worthing to beat Thames Valley, yeah. especially in one off, you know, one off tournament play. And they did, you know. They, they did, they, they, they came know, out, they wanted it. They were fantastic. Tom Ward, 35 points. He, I love the way Tom Ward He shot the lights out. 
Max Richardson also helping yeah. with that. Oh, oh great, great look. ball movement. So oh. Eric and Maya, what a block from Maya. Great Three defense. minutes to go. Here she Maya goes. on drive down the lane. She's tied up. There's going to be an offensive foul. Called on Erica Maya. That'll be her third foul of the game. I was about to say she did a great job at holding that position. Absolutely. I thought the, the other girl, the, the archer's girl, had tied her up with the ball. Yeah. It looked like it was the ball that pushed the defender over. Oh, nice to I'll, see I'll, Denisa back in the game. I think I felt it's a bit of VAR on that one. Yeah, we get some of that. <laughs> we'll get Cliff to replay it. <laughs> Good D by Finn, denying the outside shot. Ooh. And Bunyan trying to get to her right hand is blocked and then fouls Charlotte Finn. Both teams in the penalty. Finn will go to the line to shoot two. Is this the way back for Kestrels? If they can knock down their shot, if they can knock down their free throws, we get, said a, this quick, right at the get a quick the foul quarter. and rely on Archers missing theirs. Once you're into the free throw trade-off game, two and a half minutes is a long time. The hairband comes the off hair in frustration. The hairband is off, it's gone. <laughs> Makes a second. Troy to Bunyan. This is an interesting matchup with Good. Bunyan and Alicia. Yeah. And again, you know, you've got a 15 and a 16 year old being given the ball handling duties to get the ball over the half court in a pressure situation. Yeah. Great composure. Shows how trusted they are and shows how. Um, ooh. 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 Kante being bumped. By Bunyan. That is her fourth foul, I do believe. Katie Richards coming back in for Jones. Oh, oh, oh no, that was her third foul. I stand corrected. Kante makes the first. I was just about to say, Siva Kente, only a 50% free throw shooter and just proves it. <laughs> <laughs> For a change, I was proven right with something as opposed to proven oh, wrong. Oh, good hat! <laughs> Sylvia Kente called for the holding foul and that Italian temperament starting yeah. to bubble to the surface there. <laughs> As frustration I I saw as that not then. getting the same, not getting the call at both ends of the floor. And finally, Anna Neverson back in with two minutes remaining. Jackson heading to the bench. Oh, okay. CJ now wants them to utilise Erica inside with two minutes to go. Still to come this afternoon in WNBL Division One, Cola Southwark Pride host the Loughborough Riders. That's at six o'clock this evening. That should be a good game. Yeah, that should Southwark be a... Southwark Pride on a real run. <laughs> Substitution called by Archers. Harris Roy goes to the bench. Heather Johnston checks in. Kessler's going full court oh, pressure. Yeah. Meyer with the deflection. Katie Richards picks it up and 
Aza Smalley getting the ball over the half court. Bunyan finds Johnson Good underneath, block. and it's swatted away by Tarr. Great block. Oh. Poor bounce pass. Difficult pass that in transition to make that bounce pass far enough in front of the person. You can see Kestrels are trying to speed up the play here. Sarah just telling the archers just to slow it down and relax. They're in the lead, they don't have no, to rush no anything. No whistle there, that was a break for the Kestrels. Yeah. Neverson. Nice, Anna. Going to take it to the basket. Nice move by Neverson. Denied the three-point shot. So next best thing, take the fake, take the defender to the basket. Denise Molnar has been in the wars today. She'll head to the bench. Mm. As Harry checks mm. back in for the Archers. Oh. People wide open underneath. Johnston with the easy layup on the feed from Harry. And that'll, if there was any doubt, then there's definitely no doubt anymore that Archers are going to come away with the win from this one. Tar spots up, is way off with the three, and shoulders are down, you know, body language. Kante still not giving up. Oh, Neverson. Gets off balance, takes a stumble, the shot is missed, and Kestrels can break, although Archers have got numbers back. Kante, pull up two, no good. We need to get after these boards. Into the half, last half minute of the game. Kestrels 47, Archers 63. Johnston misses the layup. Kante. They got lucky there. Yeah. I I'm surprised they're not just dribbling it out, to be honest with you. Um, Neverson's going to put up the three. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Anna Neverson makes the three with 8.3 seconds to go. It's just breaking that. So, oh, good defense all, there too. Great defense. Kante comes up with a steal and that'll do it. The end of the game. Archer's a fantastic performance. Outscoring, Ooh. outscoring Pestrels. Told you they wanted it, 60, they wanted that 63 win. 63 to 50. Great performance from Met Archers. Annie, what have your, what's your highlights been from that <laughs> Archers performance? It's got to be the juniors. Um, seeing Bunyan play, Keris, Abby, like seeing them all come out, compete, and they like they have all contributed massively to this game. Abby getting seven points, Izzy leading the way with 15 points. And yeah, leading, leading the way with 15 points, but a monster double-double for the 16-year-old. 15 points, 15 rebounds. Incredible. Incredible. She is definitely a player that teams need to look out for and they need to be aware. She'll find the gaps in the defence and she showed that today. Absolutely. So that'll do it. From the Stone Sports Complex today. Cardiff Met Archers get back on winning ways, 63 to 49. Massive dent in the hopes of the team Stone Kestrels getting a home draw in the first round of the playoffs. And there's some dejected looking bodies on the Kestrels bench, but it'll no doubt be a happy minibus on the drive back along the M4. <laughs> it'll definitely make it an easier M4. drive. It'll make back. it an easier journey, that's for sure, back <laughs> to the M4. Thank you everybody for checking in and watching, and we will see you next week for the final game for the Kestrels against Kola Southwark Pride. Oh, it's away. Sorry, I thought it was at home. Thank you, Cliff. Our, 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 our man, behind, man, man behind the camera um, <laughs> reminded me that I need to get my facts straight. So, yeah, Kola away is the last fixture for Kestrels next weekend. And Cardiff Met Archers have a rather bizarre fixture combination where they're away to Thames Valley on the Saturday and then at home to them on the Sunday. Thank you very much indeed for watching, everybody. Enjoy your bank holiday Sunday.